State of Survival recently released a bunch of new hero skills and for once the descriptions in game are actually somewhat correct and this is huge. For the first time in three years we can finally see the skills of heroes as they were intended by the developers. So I think it's very important to understand what they exactly do and keep in mind these skills are completely new. We've never ever seen these skill types in State of Survival and I've seen it before in other games and it usually completely fails due to the fact that they are extremely strong. Spoiler alert, they are the strongest skills I've ever seen in the game. You might be wondering how I'm able to afford all these heroes. And it's all because of Paxify. Thanks to Paxify, I can save 20% on my in-game purchases. And thanks to them, I still have enough money left to pay my rent. If you want to save money on your in-game bundles, make sure to check out the Paxify link in the description. Thank you Paxify for sponsoring this video. So there are three types of new skills with the Limitless Heroes and they are all based around combo skills and you can actually see these combo skills in the old animation battle report and in this battle report we can actually see the combo hits as you can see my opponent's Magnus takes a whole lot of damage on the 8th round this is actually Maddie's second skill I know the game description says round 7 but after years and years of wrong descriptions I'll take round 8 the first term that's being used in the skill descriptions is combo hits it is basically a streak of attacks. It can never launch on the first round, but in theory after the second round it can go up and up. Combo skills increase the damage output and it's not necessarily a fixed percentage and at first it's a smaller percentage but over time the combo hits can stack. You can actually compare it to a boxing match where the first punch might be a little slap in the face but by the end of battle the punches will hit like Brook's left arm. Super strong. Now how can you increase the combo hits? True, the combo rate. The higher your combo rate, the more chance you have that your attacks will be combo hits. So theoretically speaking, if you were able to get your combo rate to 100, that would mean that every single attack would be a combo hit and therefore unstoppable. If we go back to Maddie's second skill, we can see another word in the description and it's called combo critical damage. And that's a very easy one to explain. If it's a critical hit, your troops will deal more damage and the amount of damage truly depends on how far you've upgraded the skills but it is a fixed percentage and does not stack and if we go back to our boxer you can truly compare it to a KO hit imagine a good old left hook at your right cheek and the opponent being completely bamboozled by your hit that is basically what critical damage does so combo hit stacks damage over time and gets also higher over time combo rate is the chance that more combo hits happen during the fight and critical damage is a fixed percentage of damage and the does not stack, it stays consistent throughout the battle. And it does make a whole lot of sense that these skills are very strong, because in the end 3 punches to the face will hit harder than 1 punch. I've said it multiple times and I still stand my grounds. The skills of the Limitless Heroes are unbeatable and no hero can fight against them. It will be interesting to see how State of Survival implements combo skills more within the game, but for now it's by far the most strongest skills that I've ever ever seen. Now it would be awesome if you could slap the like button on this video because that truly helps me out on YouTube. I'm trying to reach 10,000 subscribers on YouTube and if 1,500 of you just subscribe on this video, I've reached my goal. Thank you for watching this video and I'll see you soon for a new one. Bye!